Hello and welcome once again to Covenant Child. It's another week, another new month. It's hard to believe that we are in the fourth month of this year again. But we thank God again for just being faithful and for keeping us. And if you are viewing this, it's just an evidence again of God's grace keeping us till this time in this year. Thank you once again to those who always give me feedback just about being blessed by the videos, those who comment as well on the videos. Um, thank you very much for that. I want to read out of Isaiah 49, verse 1 to verse 3. It says, Listen to me, you islands, hear this, you distant nations. Before I was born, the Lord called me from my mother's womb. He has spoken my name. He made my mouth like a sharpened sword. In the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me into a polished arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I display my splendor. God is, and the prophet Isaiah is giving a message from God to the children of Israel. And he is prophetic in his nature. And he talks about the fact about how God is preparing the children of Israel. He's bringing forth hope. And I want to just focus on verse 2 and 3 where he says, You have made me into a polished arrow and concealed me in his quiver. An arrow is a weapon. A weapon of warfare. An arrow is one that soldiers use. It's fast and it is sharp. And I want to encourage us today that God is busy shaping us into arrows. God wants to make us into arrows, into a weapon that he can use. An arrow that is fast. He wants to shape us. He wants to make us into an instrument that is sharp for his use alone. Now, as I was preparing this and as I looked at the process of making an arrow, especially in the biblical times, an arrow was made from a stick normally, or sometimes it was made out of metal, but most times it was made out of stick. And the, 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 the stick would be taken off the tree and, the, uh, and you would choose as well the right stick. And God has chosen us. He's chosen us to be for him. And then you would strip off the bark you would take off all that outer layer of the bark because you don't want that to form part of the arrow. And that is what he has done for us. God has brought us into his kingdom as his children and he has stripped off all those old stuff. The sinful nature is busy stripping it off from us. And then you would go through a process of trying to straighten that arrow as well. And then you would fix eventually the metal head to the arrow and then you would normally attach some feathers at the back as well for the arrow and so this once you once the arrow is completely made it is not used immediately it is put as we just read into that scripture it is put into the quiver until it is ready to be used and so God this is a metaphor of what God is doing for each of us I'm sure many of us if not all of us we've prayed at some point God use me I want to be used by you Lord and that's a wonderful prayer to pray but it, God takes that seriously and he wants to use us he has a plan and a purpose a good plan to use us but we need to go through this process just as the arrow. An arrow doesn't land perfect and straight immediately. It goes through this process of shaping, of being made straight, being put, being sharpened. That is what God is doing with us. He's taking us through a process. And sometimes the process can be painful. But if we want to be an arrow for the Lord, a line to strip off that bark, a line to strip off the stuff, 
that's of no use and allow him to prepare you through the word as you get into the word god prepares us to be this arrow that he can use an arrow must be straight to fulfill its purpose and the straightness talks about integrity talks about holiness we even use that expression when somebody is a person of integrity that they are straight and they are upright. And that's what God wants to do. Proverbs 11 verse 3 says that the integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. And so God wants to make us into straight instruments that he can use. Let us be people of integrity, people of honesty, people that are holy. And an arrow, the, the scripture that we read in Isaiah speaks about being a polished arrow. Because that tip is polished so that we are sharp. Polished items also reflect light and reflect glory. Just like in Philippians 2.15, Paul says, So that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like the stars. Become an arrow for God. So that he can be used by you. But once all that shaping is over, we want to get into actions many times. But he puts us in his quiver. He puts us in a dark place sometimes to wait before he will use us. And so many of us, maybe even over these two years that many of us have been in lockdown and so forth, we may, may feel even that we've been kept in the quiver. But God, I believe, wants to take us out. And while we are in the quiver, we wait on God. We continue to trust God for the right time, for the right season, when God will take you out of his quiver to use you. And when arrows are used and they are shot, they are carried forth by the wind. It symbolizes again, talks about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the wind is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. We can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. And the archer decides when the arrow is ready and when he wants to take us and where he wants to shoot us. It's not for us to decide, but I want to go in that direction or I want to go in that direction. The archer decides where he's going to shoot that arrow. And so we just need to submit to him and say, Lord, lead me or take me there. My prayer for all of us is that we become sharp arrows in God's quiver. That we'll be able to accomplish the work which God wants us to do. And in these very uncertain times, very fluid times, may he use you as a sharp arrow arrow and if you are finding yourself at the moment in the quiver just rest wait on him to release you and to take you out of that dark place and to use you for his purposes he is the one who is in control the arrow can't say to the archer what to do it is for the archer to decide when he will take out which specific arrow and where he's going to send that arrow. I pray that you will be, have been encouraged through this and allow him to work. Many times the process takes ages and we get impatient because that's the nature of of us some of us are more patient than others but i think most of us we get impatient sometimes with the process 
but let's just endure and let's wait on God. Because those who wait on the Lord, He will renew their strength. And so wait, if you are in the quiver, wait all great men and women of God had to go through that period when they were kept in the quiver until God took them out and was able to use them. May you be a sharp arrow for God. God bless you as you go into this week. And until we meet again, God willing, next week, Shalom.